Hello and welcome to the Samant Pro 4 screencast. Today I'm going to be talking about custom configuring your Apache, Nginx, MySQL, and PHP. Um, you can do this through uh, normally through uh, configuration files uh, with Apache, HTTP.conf, PHP, you would do through the PHP.ini. And uh, you can do that in Mat Pro. You just have to do things a little differently. You cannot write directly to these files. Every time Mat Pro uh, starts its servers, it uh, on the fly makes these files, creates these files from your user interface options and template files and writes to them. So if you write to them directly, uh, your changes are going to get overwritten. So um, I'm going to briefly go over where to make changes. I'm not going to uh, describe specific changes, just where to make your changes and confirm that your changes are actually flowing through to the real configuration files to help you um, custom configure your setup. Okay, so I'm going to start with Apache here. Uh, if you just go to your settings host, Apache, you'll notice here, obviously you can make changes right through the interface. Uh, if you want to make simple changes, that's all you have to do and you don't have to worry about uh, template files or, uh, and, and that kind of stuff. If you want to do more advanced uh, changes, uh, you're going to have to go to file Edit template, Apache, and httpd.conf. So just open that up. And basically what this is gonna do is the changes you make in here are going to um, show up in your real um, httpd.conf file. So you can make custom changes here and they will flow to your um, real HTTP d.conf and I'll get to that in a second. So uh, just for the sake of making a change and saving the file, uh, I just, uh, I'm going to do that and I'm going to restart my servers and that should, uh, this template file is now going to show up. I'll show you where your template files are. Before I had no template file here, now I have an HTTP .conf.temp file. This is in your um, home library application support absolute Mat Pro templates directory. Um, if you make changes that maybe cause an error, you can um, just go and delete this template file and uh, Mat Pro will go back to its uh, default settings. Or you can also go in here if you want to, I think there is out here, refer all templates to default settings. So that's just erasing all of them. But um, if you want to do an individual one, if you just made changes, so you're happy with uh, your say PHP and you just want to change your HTTP uh, d.conf or set it back to uh, a default, just, uh, delete this file. And uh, Matt Pro is just going to take then the basic default settings. Okay, so this is uh, my Nginx, and it's the exact same uh, setup as uh, Apache. You can make simple changes here in your user interface, or you can go to, uh, if you need to make more advanced changes, same, same thing here, go to your Nginx, and you can make changes here, and any changes are going to show up in your um, the same directory. So I'm going to restart my servers and I should see an nginx comp.temp. Okay, so uh, um, that is um, my uh, nginx uh, changes. Okay, so PHP, it's very similar to Apache and nginx, making custom configurations. There's not a lot you can do here in the way of uh, customization on the user interface. But if you go into your uh, edit template, um, file edit template PHP, uh, you can make some many changes. Make sure you are on the correct version of uh, PHP. And uh, so if you're using many different versions for different sites, you're gonna have to make changes to a few files. But you can see here, the uh, most users are, are somewhat familiar with some of these changes. Uh, this is usually, uh, some a lot of people change this. I'll just change my max execution time to 60 seconds, and uh, 
save that change and that'll show up in my uh, uh, a number PHP 7.0 by 10 ini.temp and one last custom configuration uh, is your uh, MySQL. Again, MySQL doesn't have a lot of changes you can make on the user interface, but you can go into uh, the um, uh, file edit template here on the uh, on the um, menu here, save that, and then you have your custom changes to your my.cnf template. So here are all my template files. When I restart my servers, these template files are going to be used to write to the real configuration files. Okay, so you've made all your changes to your templates and you want to verify if things are not uh, as you think they should be. You can verify in the real files if the changes you made in your user interface and your template files are correctly being reflected in the real files. So I'm going to go over now where these files are. Okay, uh, first thing is these files get created when uh, the server starts. So the first thing you want, you can check, I've got 9.40 a.m. here, uh, check the timestamp on them and make sure they're correct uh, if, the, if, if it's a new file that you're looking at you know, before you look in the file. So I'll start with MySQL. Um, MySQL is here in um, your application's MAMP, uh, my, temp, MySQL, MyCNF, and I can see here it was made at 9.40 a.m. today, so that is good. Um, in my uh, library application support, absolute MAMP Pro Conf is my PHP, uh, sorry, I'm gonna, I'll go over the uh, Apache, HTTP.conf, and my uh, nginx.conf. Uh, so these files were also made at 940, so I know that these are the correct files to, um, to uh, inspect to make sure my changes are correctly being reflected. Now remember, you can't write to these files, they're gonna get written every time, written over every time you restart your servers. Um, PHP is uh, a little different. You have to watch out here with PHP. I, I want to uh, show you, I made one change. Um, uh, I set up uh, a, a local host and I also set up host two. Um, I changed my uh, PHP to uh, individual PHP versions for every host um, CGI mode. And I have a host, a uh, local host using the default 7.0.10 and a host 2 using 5.6.25. So um, you'll notice here there's a, a 5.6.25 INI and a 7.10 um, INI. So both made at 940. So um, one way to check, first uh, you can check if, and verify that the changes are correct. And also, uh, one last thing to note with the PHP, just make sure you can see when you are here at host two, you can go over and say, okay, what um, PHP, this is that I, that's gonna send you to your PHP info. And um, so here, that's gonna send you to your PHP info and I can check right here, okay, this host is looking at this uh, configuration file, PHP 5.6.0. 25.ini, that's where those changes are going. Um, and the local host is going to 7.0.10. So you can see, verify which uh, PHP INI is configuring uh, the PHP version, the PHP for that host. Um, one last thing, uh, a lot of times users will go here and think, oh, well, I'm just gonna go to my PHP info and this is, uh, this is always going to the default uh, PHP, uh, the uh, web start uh, page is going to the default PHP. So if you go here, you're gonna see 7.0.10, which won't make sense. So, you, and so if you're using CGI PHP, you have to go to the individual PHP just by pressing the I there and you'll see. And then of course, go if you, if you think changes are being made that are incorrect, you can verify uh, if um, the uh, 
PHP file is correctly uh, making changes to what you think uh, you are making in the uh, user interface and template files. And that's going to do it for custom configuring your MAP Pro 4.